Ericaceae, Wikipedia article audio. The Ericaceae are a botanical family of perennial climbers, shrubs, acals and trees commonly known as palm trees. They are flowering plants, a family in the monocot order Ericales. Currently 181 genera with around 2,600 species are known, most of them restricted to tropical and subtropical climates. Most palms are distinguished by their large, compound, evergreen leaves, known as fronds, arranged at the top of an unbranched stem. However, Palms exhibit an enormous diversity in physical characteristics and inhabit nearly every type of habitat within their range, from rhine forests to deserts. Palms are among the best known and most extensively cultivated plant families. They have been important to humans throughout much of history. Many common products and foods are derived from palms and palms are also widely used in landscaping, making them one of the most economically important plants. In many historical cultures, palms were symbols for such ideas as victory, peace, and fertility. For inhabitants of cooler climates today, palms symbolize the tropics and vacations. Morphology Range and Habitat whether as shrubs, trees, or vines, palms have two methods of growth, solitary or clustered. The common representation is that of a solitary shoot ending in a crown of leaves. This monopodial character may be exhibited by prostrate, trunkless, and trunk-forming members. Some common palms restricted to solitary growth include Washingtonia and Roystonia. Palms may instead grow in sparse though dense clusters. The trunk develops an axillary bud at a leaf node, usually near the base, from which a new shoot emerges. The new shoot, in turn, produces an axillary bud and a clustering habit results. Exclusively sympodial genera include many of the rattans, gehaya, and rapus. Several palm genera have both solitary and clustering members. Palms which are usually solitary may grow in clusters and vice versa. These aberrations suggest the habit operates on a single gene. Palms have large, evergreen leaves that are either palmately or pinnately compound and spirally arranged at the top of the stem. The leaves have a tubular sheath at the base that usually splits open on one side at maturity. The inflorescence is a spadix or spike surrounded by one or more bracts or spaths that become woody at maturity. The flowers are generally small and white, radially symmetric, and can be either uni or bisexual. The sepals and petals usually number three each, and may be distinct or joined at the base. The stamens generally number six, with filaments that may be separate, attached to each other, or attached to the pistil at the base. The fruit is usually a single seeded droop but some genera may contain two or more seeds in each fruit. Like all monocots, palms do not have the ability to increase the width of a stem via the same kind of vascular cambium found in non-monocot woody plants. This explains the cylindrical shape of the trunk that is often seen in palms, unlike in true trees. However, many palms, like some other monocots, do have secondary growth, although because it does not arise from a single vascular cambium producing xylem inwards and phloem outwards, it is often called anomalous secondary growth. The Ericaceae are notable among monocots for their height and for the size of their seeds, leaves, and inflorescences. Cirrhosylon quindiuense, Columbia S. National Tree, is the tallest monocot in the world, reaching up to 60 m tall. The Coco de Mer has the largest seeds of any plant, 
40 50 cm in diameter and weighing 15 30 kg each. Raffia palms have the largest leaves of any plant, up to 25 m long and 3 m wide. The Corypha species have the largest inflorescence of any plant, up to 7.5 m tall and containing millions of small flowers. Calamus stems can reach 200 m in length. Most palms are native to tropical and subtropical climates. Palms thrive in moist and hot climates but can be found in a variety of different habitats. Their diversity is highest in wet, lowland forests. South America, the Caribbean, and areas of the South Pacific and Southern Asia are regions of concentration. Colombia may have the highest number of palm species in one country. There are some palms that are also native to desert areas such as the Arabian Peninsula and parts of northwestern Mexico. Only about 130 palm species naturally grow entirely beyond the tropics, mostly in humid lowland subtropical climates, in highlands in southern Asia, and along the rimlands of the Mediterranean Sea. The northernmost native palm is Camarops humilis which reaches 44 degrees north latitude in along the coast of southern France. In the southern hemisphere, the southernmost palm is the Ripolostylus sapida, which reaches 44 degrees south on the Chatham Islands where an oceanic climate prevails. Cultivation of palms is possible north of subtropical climates, and some higher latitude locals such as Ireland, Scotland, England, and the Pacific Northwest feature a few palms in protected locations. Selected genera Palms inhabit a variety of ecosystems. More than two-thirds of palm species live in humid moist forests, where some species grow tall enough to form part of the canopy and shorter ones form part of the understory. Some species form pure stands in areas with poor drainage or regular flooding, including Raphia hookeri which is common in coastal freshwater swamps in West Africa. Other palms live in tropical mountain habitats above 1000 m, such as those in the genus Ciro's Island native to the Andes. Palms may also live in grasslands and scrublands, usually associated with a water source, and in desert oases such as the date palm. A few palms are adapted to extremely basic lime soils, while others are similarly adapted to extreme potassium deficiency and toxicity of heavy metals in serpentine soils. Palms are a monophyletic group of plants, meaning the group consists of a common ancestor and all its descendants. Extensive taxonomic research on palms began with botanist H.E. Moore, who organized palms into 15 major groups based mostly on general morphological characteristics. The following classification, proposed by N.W. Ewell and J. Dransfield in 1987, is a revision of Moore's classification that organizes palms into six subfamilies. Evolution A few general traits of each subfamily are listed below. The Coryphoidea are the most diverse subfamily, and are a paraphyletic group, meaning all members of the group share a common ancestor, but the group does not include all the ancestors' descendants. Most palms in this subfamily have palmately lobed leaves and solitary flowers with three or sometimes four carpels. The fruit normally develops from only one carpel. Subfamily Calamoidae includes the climbing palms, such as rattans. The leaves are usually pinnate, derived characters include spines on various organs, organs specialized for climbing, an extension of the main stem of the leaf bearing reflexed spines and overlapping scales covering the fruit and ovary. Uses Subfamily Nepoidae contains only one species, Nepa fruticans, 
which has large, pinnate leaves. The fruit is unusual in that it floats, and the stem is dichotomously branched, also unusual in palms. Endangered Species Subfamily Ceroxaloidae has small to medium-sized flowers, spirally arranged, with a genoesium of three-joined carpels. Arthropod Pests The Aricoidae are the largest subfamily, with six diverse tribes containing over 100 genera. All tribes have pinnate or bipinnate leaves and flowers arranged in groups of three, with a central pistil late and two staminate flowers. The Phytlephantoidea are a monoecious subfamily. Members of this group have distinct monopodial flower clusters. Other distinct features include a genoecium with five to ten joined carpels, and flowers with more than three parts per whorl. Fruits are multiple seeded and have multiple parts. Symbolism Currently, few extensive phylogenetic studies of the Aricaceae exist. In 1997, Baker ETAL explored subfamily and tribe relationships using chloroplast DNA from 60 genera from all subfamilies and tribes. The results strongly showed the Calamoidae are monophyletic and Ceroxaloidae and Coraphoidae are paraphyletic. The relationships of Aricoidae are uncertain, but they are possibly related to the Ceroxaloidae and Phytlephantoidea. Studies have suggested the lack of a fully resolved hypothesis for the relationships within the family is due to a variety of factors including difficulties in selecting appropriate outgroups, homoplasy in morphological character states, slow rates of molecular evolution important for the use of standard DNA markers, and character polarization. However, hybridization has been observed among Orbina and Phoenix species, and using chloroplast DNA in cladistic studies may produce inaccurate results due to maternal inheritance of the chloroplast DNA. Chemical and molecular data from non-organelle DNA, for example, could be more effective for studying palm phylogeny. See list of Aricaceae genera arranged by taxonomic groups or by alphabetical order for a complete listing of genera. The Aricaceae are the first modern family of monocots appearing in the fossil record around 80 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. The first modern species, such as Nipa fruticans and Acrocomia aculeata, appeared 94 Maya, confirmed by fossil Nipa pollen dated to 94 Maya. Palms appear to have undergone an early period of adaptive radiation. By 60 Maya, many of the modern, specialized genera of palms appeared and became widespread and common, much more widespread than their range today. Because palms separated from the monocots earlier than other families, they developed more intrafamilial specialization and diversity. By tracing back these diverse characteristics of palms to the basic structures of monocots, Palms may be valuable in studying monocot evolution. Several species of palms have been identified from flowers preserved in amber, including Paleo raphi dominicana and Roystonia palea. Evidence can also be found in samples of petrified palm wood. Human use of palms is as old or older than human civilization itself starting with the cultivation of the date palm by Mesopotamians and other Middle Eastern peoples 5,000 years or more ago. Date wood, pits for storing dates, and other remains of the date palm have been found in Mesopotamian sites. The date palm had a tremendous effect on the history of the Middle East. W.H. Barfeld wrote, One could go as far as to say that, had the date palm not existed, the expansion of the human race into the hot and barren parts of the old world would have been much more restricted. 
the date palm not only provided a concentrated energy food, which could be easily stored and carried along on long journeys across the deserts, it also created a more amenable habitat for the people to live in by providing shade and protection from the desert winds. In addition, the date palm also yielded a variety of products for use in agricultural production and for domestic utensils, and practically all parts of the palm had a useful purpose. Other Plants an indication of the importance of palms in ancient times is that they are mentioned more than 30 times in the Bible, and at least 22 times in the Quran. Aracaceae have great economic importance, including coconut products, oils, dates, palm syrup, ivory nuts, carnauba wax, rattan cane, raffia, and palm wood. Coryphoidea, calamoidae. Nepoidae, Syroxaloidae, Aracoidae, Phytlephantoidea. Along with dates mentioned above, members of the palm family with human uses are numerous. Like many other plants, palms have been threatened by human intervention and exploitation. The greatest risk to palms is destruction of habitat, especially in the tropical forests due to urbanization, wood chipping, mining, and conversion to farmland. Palms rarely reproduce after such great changes in the habitat, and those with small habitat ranges are most vulnerable to them. The harvesting of heart of palm, a delicacy in salads, also poses a threat because it is derived from the palm's apical meristem, a vital part of the palm that cannot be regrown. The use of rattan palms in furniture has caused a major population decrease in these species that has negatively affected local and international markets, as well as biodiversity in the area. The sale of seeds to nurseries and collectors is another threat, as the seeds of popular palms are sometimes harvested directly from the wild. At least 100 palm species are currently endangered and nine species have reportedly recently become extinct. The type member of Aracaceae is the Arica palm, the fruit of which, the Arica nut, is chewed with the beetle leaf for intoxicating effects, carnauba wax is harvested from the leaves of a Brazilian palm, rattans, whose stems are used extensively in furniture and baskets, are in the genus Calamus. Palm oil is an edible vegetable oil produced by the oil palms in the genus Elias. Several species are harvested for heart of palm, a vegetable eaten in salads. Sap of the nipa palm nipa is used to make vinegar. Palm sap is sometimes fermented to produce palm wine or toddy, an alcoholic beverage common in parts of Africa, India, and the Philippines. It is also drunk fresh, as Nira, and is a refreshing drink that is consumed until sundown, after which it starts to ferment. Palmyra and date palm sap is harvested in Bengal, India, to process into gur and jaggery, dragon's blood, a red resin used traditionally in medicine, varnish, and dyes, may be obtained from the fruit of Demonorops species. Coconut is the partially edible seed of the fruit of the coconut palm. Coir is a coarse, water-resistant fiber extracted from the outer shell of coconuts, used in doormats, brushes, mattresses, and ropes. In India, beekeepers use coir in their bee smokers. Some indigenous groups living in palm-rich areas use palms to make many of their necessary items and food. Sago, for example, a starch made from the pith of the trunk of the sago palm Metroxylon sagu, is a major staple food for lowland peoples of New Guinea and the Moluccas. This is not the same plant commonly used as a house plant and called sago palm. Palm wine is made from jubia, also called Chilean wine palm, or Caquito palm, recently. The fruit of the acai palm euterpe has been used for its reputed health benefits, 
Sao Palmetto is under investigation as a drug for treating enlarged prostates. Palm leaves are also valuable to some peoples as a material for thatching, basketry, clothing, and in religious ceremonies. However, several factors make palm conservation more difficult. Palms live in almost every type of warm habitat and have tremendous morphological diversity. Most palm seeds lose viability quickly, and they cannot be preserved in low temperatures because the cold kills the embryo. Using botanical gardens for conservation also presents problems, since they can only house a few plants of any species or truly imitate the natural setting. Also, the risk of cross-pollination can lead to hybrid species. The Palm Specialist Group of the World Conservation Union began in 1984, and has performed a series of three studies to find basic information on the status of palms in the wild, use of wild palms, and palms under cultivation. Two projects on palm conservation and use supported by the World Wildlife Fund took place from 1985 to 1990 and 1986-1991, in the American tropics and Southeast Asia, respectively. Both studies produced copious new data and publications on palms. Preparation of a global action plan for palm conservation began in 1991 supported by the IUCN, and was published in 1996. Rayla Indica, the red palm mite, Cariobruchus gleditsii, the palm seed beetle or palm seed weevil, Rhynchophorus ferruginus, the red palm weevil, recently introduced to Europe. The rarest palm known is Hyophorbi americalis. The only living individual remains at the Botanic Gardens of Cure Pipe in Mauritius. Pests that attack a variety of species of palm trees include The palm branch was a symbol of triumph and victory in pre-Christian times. The Romans rewarded champions of the games and celebrated military successes with palm branches. Early Christians used the palm branch to symbolize the victory of the faithful over enemies of the soul, as in the Palm Sunday festival celebrating the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. In Judaism, the palm represents peace and plenty, and is one of the four species of Sukkot. The palm may also symbolize the tree of life in Kabbalah. Cordyline Australis palm lily and other representatives in the genus Cordyline and perhaps also in Dracaena with which Cordyline may be confused, Cycus revoluta and the rest of the order Cycadales, Ravenala, Pandanus spiralis, screw palm and perhaps other Pandanus species, Cyathea cunning amii and other tree ferns that may be confused with palms, Cetaria palmifolia, Aposii, Carlodovica palmata and perhaps other members in the family Cyclanthaceae. Painaivari Amman was an ancient Tamil tree deity related to fertility. Named after Paina, the Tamil name for the Palmyra palm, she was also known as Talavasini, a name that further related her to all types of palms. Today, the palm, especially the coconut palm, remains a symbol of the tropical island paradise. Palms appear on the flags and seals of several places where they are native, including those of Haiti, Guam, Saudi Arabia, Florida, and South Carolina. Some species commonly called palms, though they are not true palms, include 